Hey, hey, tribe, welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna be going over the memorization technique I came up with, AOTIA, for Eric Erickson's Eight Stages of Psychosocial Development. So stay tuned. Okay, so let's dive into it. Um, as you can see listed below here on your screen, we have stage number one, trust versus mistrust. Stage number two, autonomy versus shame and doubt. Stage number three, initiative versus guilt. Stage number four, industry versus inferiority. Stage number five, identity versus role confusion. Stage number six, intimacy versus isolation. Stage number seven, generativity versus stagnation. And stage number eight, ego integrity versus despair. Now, I know in particular with stages three, four, five, and six, it could be uh, challenging to remember the order because they all begin with I. So I came up with something, uh, a memorization technique, AOTIA. And to be fair, you don't have to say the A-O part. I just like saying A-O-T-A because it just kind of flows better. But uh, T is for trust. T and then a uh, autonomy. T, uh. Again, I just like saying A-O-T-A. Um, and there's only one out of the eight stages. There's only one stage that begins with a T. And there's only one stage that begins with an A. T, uh. And I like using my hand because it helps keep track of what stage we're at. Hand up, T, trust, first stage, a, uh, autonomy. So when we say T, one finger is up for the first stage, a, uh, second stage, T, a, uh, trust, autonomy. And then we get to initiate and it helps because out of all the I's in the eight stages, initiate, meaning to begin something, right? We're initiating something. So uh, focus on memorizing Tia, initiate, Tia, initiate, or if you're like myself, Ayo Tia, initiate, T, A, uh, initiate. Initiate is the third stage. T, trust, A, uh, autonomy, initiate, right? That's the third stage. T, A, uh, initiate. And from there, we can really flow it all together. T, A, uh, initiate the industry to identify intimacy. Gah. And I put, I put guh, G-E. If we look at stage number seven, generativity versus stagnation, and then the eighth stage, ego integrity versus despair, I think the eighth stage is the easiest one to identify because it literally happens last, later adulthood, 65 plus. So if we got a question on the exam, uh, speaking to the client being 65 plus and they're reflecting on life and everything, they're referring to the eighth stage. But again, we're going to go through this and really practice it. And we got some practice questions as well. So hands up, T, uh, initiate the industry to identify intimacy, Gah. G E. And again, let's uh, dive into the questions. So Eric Erickson's practice question number one, what is Eric Erickson's fourth stage of psychosocial development? A, initiative versus guilt. B, identity versus role confusion. C, intimacy versus isolation. Or D, industry versus inferiority. You know how we do? Pause the video, take a sec, reread the question, read the answer choices, select your best answer, unpause, and we'll dive into it. Okay, if you picked D, industry versus inferiority, you are correct. This is the fourth stage. And remember, let's use the technique and we'll even scroll back up. And again, I like saying Ayo. Ayo, T, first stage, uh, second stage. Initiate the industry, uh-oh, four fingers are up. T, uh, initiate the industry, four fingers are up. What did the question ask for? The four stage. So that's why this one is industry versus inferiority. But how about this one? Practice question number two. What is Eric Erickson's third stage of psychosocial development? Take a sec, pause, and then we'll break it down. 
Okay, let's hands up. T, uh, initiate. Oh, stop right there. Three fingers are up. It's asking for the third stage. T, uh, initiate. So the answer to this one is A, initi initiative versus guilt. And I say initiate because it just flows better, but it still gets us to the right answer. We're not done. We're not done. Let's go to the third practice question. What is Eric Erickson's sixth stage of psychosocial development? Take a sec, pause, and we'll break it down. All right, hands up. And again, I like saying A-O. A-O, T, uh. Initiate the industry to identify intimacy. Six, six fingers. Well, this is a thumb, but it's on the sixth stage. Intimacy. So the answer for this one would be C, intimacy versus isolation. And again, we're not done. We're going through this. How about question number four? What is Eric Erickson's fifth stage of psychosocial development? A, initiative versus guilt. B, identity versus role confusion. C, intimacy versus isolation. Or D, industry versus inferiority. And let's go through this one together. Hands up. <laughs> A O T A. Uh. Initiate the industry to identify. Uh oh. Identify five fingers. Identify. This one is B. Identity versus road confusion. And again, we're not done. We're going through this. We're practicing. Question number five, what is Eric Erickson's fourth stage of psychosocial development? <laughs> Hands up. A-O-T, uh, initiate the industry, up, oh, industry, industry, fourth stage. This is D, industry versus inferiority, right? We're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. Question number six, what is Eric Erickson's seventh stage of psychosocial development? A, initiative versus guilt. B, ego integrity versus despair. C, intimacy versus isolation. Or D, generativity versus stagnation. Hands up. <laughs> A-O-T, uh, initiate the industry to identify intimacy. G, G E, G E. The seven stages is the G. A O T, a. Uh. Initiate the industry to identify intimacy. G, G. So this one is D. Generativity versus stagnation. That is the seven stage. All right, let's keep flowing. Question number seven, what is Eric Erickson's sixth stage of psychosocial development? A, initiative versus guilt. B, identity versus role confusion. C, intimacy versus isolation. Or D, industry versus inferiority. <laughs> Hands up. A, O, T, A, uh. initiate the industry to identify intimacy. Six. This is C, intimacy versus isolation. This is the sixth stage. All right. How about question number eight? What is Eric Erickson's eighth stage of psychosocial development? A, initiative versus guilt. B, ego integrity versus despair. C, intimacy versus isolation. Or D, generativity versus stagnation. <laughs> Hands up. A-O-T, uh. Initiate the industry to identify intimacy. G, G E, E, A stage. Ego integrity versus despair is the A stage. So this answer is B. 
All right, let's keep going. Question number nine. What is Eric Erickson's third stage of psychosocial development? A, initiative versus guilt. B, identity versus role confusion. C, intimacy versus isolation. Or D, industry versus inferiority. <laughs> Hands up. A-O-T-A. Uh, initiate. Stop right there. Remember, when we get to it, we don't have to go any further. A-O-T-A. Uh, initiate. Third stage, initiate. So that would be A, initiate, initiative versus guilt. That is the third stage. And when we go to question number 10, what is Eric Erickson's fifth stage of psychosocial development? A, initiative versus guilt. B, identity versus role confusion. C, intimacy versus isolation. Or D, Industry versus inferiority. <laughs> Hands up. A O T A. Uh. Initiate the industry to identify. Pause right there. Identify five. So this one is B. Identity versus role confusion. That is the fifth stage. And now let's slow it all the way down. Hands up. <laughs> A O T, first stage, a, uh, second stage, initiate, third stage, the industry, fourth stage, to identify, fifth stage, intimacy, sixth stage, g, the, the G and the E is the seventh and the eighth, and the G G, it begins, G begins with a G and then it's the E. So the G is generativity and the E is uh, ego integrity versus despair. And it's like, Ray, how about if we saw um, instead of ego integrity, it just said integrity. Well, for the answer choices, even if they just said, let's say integrity versus despair, um, that happens later at life, you know? So when you see despair, that's if they didn't achieve the healthy outcome because they're reflecting on life. And that happens the last stage in life because they've been through all the stages because it happens uh, when someone is 65 plus. Again, let's go through it one more time. Hands up. <laughs> A-O-T. Uh. Initiate the industry to identify intimacy. Gah. I have a bonus question, uh, more of a traditional uh, Eric Erickson theory style of question that may appear on the exam. A social worker meets with a married couple for education about parenting. The mother says she is hesitant to allow their child to dress themselves in the morning. The social worker explains the importance of supporting their child during this time. According to Eric Erickson's psychosocial stages of development, what stage of development is the social worker most likely referring to? A, intimacy versus isolation. B, initiative versus guilt. C, Trust versus mistrust, or D, autonomy versus shame and doubt. You know how we do? Pause the video, take a sec to reread the question, read the answer choices, select your best answer, unpause, and we'll dive into the explanation. Okay. If you picked D, you are correct. Why? So what is this question a reflection and example of? A, intimacy versus isolation, this is incorrect. Why? Because this stage occurs in adulthood. Uh, people begin to focus on intimacy and sharing themselves more intimately with others outside of our family members. So the fact that this occurs in adulthood, this, is, this one is just automatically out. And then when we look at B, initiative versus guilt, this is incorrect. Why? This stage is focused on the child taking the initiative to explore and develop their interpersonal skills, primarily through playing with other children because that's how children socialize. Um, that's not what this question is a reflection of. So this one is incorrect. And then we get to C, trust versus mistrust. This is incorrect. Why? This stage focuses on basic needs and affection being provided by their parents and developing a healthy sense of trust in others 
or developing that mistrust again if that need isn't fulfilled. And quick, quick side note, um, hey, Ray, is the age a, a, a straight up giveaway if we see it on the exam? Uh, some, not all. What do I mean by that? Well, if we get an Eric Erickson's question on the exam and they're speaking to the client being 65 plus and they're reflecting on life, well, 65 plus, that's the A stage of ego integrity versus despair where they're reflecting on their life and you know how satisfied they are with it or not. For trust versus mistrust, because this is the ages from birth to one and a half, I have never seen or heard a question on the exam that said, a social worker meets with a one year old, a four month old or anything like that. So the age itself is in a, a, a giveaway for all of these ones, especially not for trust, Mrs. Vi uh, mistrust. I've never seen that. But the answer to this question is D, autonomy versus shame and doubt. Why? Uh, autonomy means the right or condition of self-government, referring to that independence slash self-sufficiency. Parents help their toddler develop autonomy independence slash self-sufficiency by allowing them to care for themselves by picking out their own clothes to wear, uh, what they want to eat, what toys they want to play with, and supporting them during potty training when they accidentally pee and or soil themselves so they know that it's okay to make mistakes. That's what this question is referring to because when we scroll back up, what did the question ask? A social worker meets with a married couple for education about parenting. The mother says she is hesitant to allow their child to dress themselves in the morning. The social worker explains the importance of supporting their child during this time. According to Eric Erickson's psychosocial stages of development, what stage of development is the social worker most likely referring to? And as we covered, this one is more so speaking to D, autonomy versus shame and doubt, and supporting their child and doing things for themselves, having that autonomy. I want to wear this. I want to eat this. Mommy, daddy, I want to do this. I want to do that. So this, the answer to this one is D, autonomy versus shame and doubt. Okay, tribe, that's it for today's video. That was uh, my memorization technique, AOTIA, for Eric Erickson's eight stages of psychosocial development. Uh, as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and tell a social work friend, especially any social worker you know named Tia, because we don't want to be licensed by ourselves. And I'm actually upload this word document into our facebook group so if you'd like to join uh the facebook side of our tribe uh click the link below and yeah become a part of it you could download it in the file section and as always you got this you got this you got this you got this two practice questions a day and at least one practice exam a month that consistency we got this all right tribe i'll see you next video